When you think of a romance story, what's the first thing that pops into your head? The Notebook? Sleepless in Seattle? How to lose a guy in 10 days? Well, guess what, juicers? We have a romance story that's going to blow all of these out of the water. And you know what else? It's a true story. It's times like these that we need a little reminder that true love really is out there. So, today we're going to tell you the story of Patrick Swayze and Lisa Niemi. After experiencing more loss and heartbreak than anyone should ever go through, was Lisa ever able to recover and move on from all the trauma? You might want to grab a box of tissues and keep it nearby, because this one is going to get the waterworks running. Before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to Rumor Juice. We have everything you need to know about the romance that blossoms in the celebrity world. You might remember Patrick Swayze from Dirty Dancing, but his real love story started way before he starred in the film. Patrick met Lisa Niemi when he was 18 years old, and she was just 14. Lisa always knew that she wanted to be a dancer and began training in ballet from a young age. It turns out that Patrick Swayze's mother, Patsy, was actually Lisa Niemi's ballet teacher. Now, before you think that the pair set eyes on each other and it was love at first sight, think again. With a dancing teacher for a mother, Patrick grew up dancing and had fun showing off to other girls that used to come to the studio. However, he admitted that he found it difficult trying to speak to Niemi. It seems that his charms that worked so well on other women just didn't do it for Lisa. I knew she was the smartest chick I'd ever met in my life. I had been meeting girls with names like Mimi and Angel, Swayze said to People magazine. And for a long time, I didn't feel like I deserved her. Niemi made it clear that she didn't want a smooth-talking kind of guy. She wanted someone that was real, honest, and down-to-earth. Once the pair started having real conversations and Patrick opened up about what he wanted from life, she started to pay a little more attention to him. After a few dates, the couple knew that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together, and they married in 1975. There was something about him when I looked at him, what I saw was pure gold. The wedding took place in the very same dance studio that Lisa had learned ballet, the perfect reflection of the pair's love for dancing and an ode to how they met. The two were completely inseparable, sharing the same passion for dancing, both getting their pilot licenses, and sharing a huge love for animals. Eventually, they moved to a ranch in New Mexico. Of course, the pair's biggest passion was for performing. While Lisa pushed for a career in dance, Swayze leaned more into the world of acting. The couple battled to make ends meet while they were attempting to make names for themselves in their chosen industry. Finally, in 1987, it was Dirty Dancing that gave Patrick the big break that he needed. Despite being a low-budget film, it ended up making a whopping $214 million at the box office. The actor shot to stardom, but remained humble, constantly giving thanks to Lisa for having played a large part in his early success. Quote, I just felt at the time that I'm very, very lucky to have a woman who thinks I hung the moon. In fact, one song that Swayze co-wrote for the Dirty Dancing soundtrack, She's Like the Wind, was inspired by Lisa and his relationship with her. Every time I sing it now, anywhere, uh, and, and perform it, I have to dedicate it to Lisa. But, like in any relationship, it wasn't all rainbows and sunshine. Patrick and Lisa also faced their fair share of rocky moments. In the early 90s, Lisa suffered from a miscarriage, which was heartbreaking for the couple who were trying so hard to have a child at the time. Patrick mentioned, I was born to be a dad. Others have said that the couple would have made the perfect parents because they both had too much wisdom, kindness, and love to share. Unfortunately, the tragedy doesn't stop there. Soon after Lisa's miscarriage, Patrick's father died of a heart attack, and his sister died a few years later due to complications related to prescription medication. Unable to cope with all of the heartache, loss, and expectations from his career, the actor turned to drinking. Patrick's addiction to alcohol began to take a toll on his career, and he was soon sidelined by Hollywood. His marriage was also beginning to suffer, which allegedly resulted in numerous arguments, and the actor had no choice but to check himself into rehab. The couple spent the next year apart, taking the time to heal and take care of themselves after everything they had experienced. When the separation happened, I had to be willing for it to be permanent, Niemi said. We didn't feel like we had a choice. Did I love him still? Absolutely. But it wasn't going to work any other way. To his credit, things did turn around, Lisa wrote in her book detailing their marriage. But the battle wasn't over yet. The couple still had a few challenges ahead left to face. 
In 2005, Lisa suffered yet another miscarriage, which left the pair in total despair. It seemed that it was their last attempt to conceive, as the two never went on to have any children. A friend close to the couple said that this was their deepest regret. And if the two hadn't experienced enough, in 2008, another tragedy hit the family, when Swayze was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. The symptoms began towards the end of the previous year. He started to suffer from terrible pain, describing it as, quote, pouring acid, you know, on an open wound. I keep dreaming of a future, a future with a long and healthy life, a life not lived in the shadow of cancer, but in the light, Swayze said at a Stand Up to Cancer event. Soon, the actor began to lose a lot of weight, and the doctors told him that his chances of surviving the disease were very slim. There was nothing the doctors could do because the tumor had spread too far. The news didn't stop Patrick from fighting the battle against cancer, and he chose to undergo chemotherapy. As he said to his doctor, show me the enemy and I'll fight him. The couple did everything they could to make their time together more meaningful and special. Patrick and Lisa renewed their vows in the ultimate fairy tale ceremony as he rode up on a white horse, proving that their love was as strong and passionate as ever. We did it very Prince Charming and Snow White, he told Walters in the last interview before he died. It was like a fairy tale, Niemi added, one of the happiest days ever. Niemi said that she had an immense amount of respect for her husband, and admitted that while she grieved throughout Swayze's cancer battle, she never showed him the pain that she was going through. Every time he looked at me, I wanted him to know he was okay, she said. At just 57 years old, Patrick's fight for his life came to an end in 2009, when he succumbed to the disease after almost a two-year battle. You know, he, he made it two years, which is, unheard, you know, very, very rare in his case. His fans flocked to his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and laid flowers and cards in his honor. But there was no doubt that the person who was hit the hardest by his passing was his wife of almost 40 years, Lisa. She said, when you lose somebody, that kind of grief happens on a cellular level. Of course, it wouldn't be easy for Lisa to move on and heal from her indescribable loss. I thought during the 22 months of my husband's illness that it gave me time to get used to the idea of losing him, she added. And I found for myself when I actually got to that point, I said, no, no, no. That wasn't the same at all. The actual loss is, it's like an animal all on its own. She also admitted that her only regret is that she didn't tell Patrick that she loved him often enough. Even though she told him that she loved him every time she left the room when they were together, she still didn't feel like it was enough. She said, I would be with Patrick a million times over if I could, warts and all. While anyone else would have become a shell of a human being after suffering from so much loss, Lisa went on to prove that she was no ordinary woman. She went on to become the chief ambassador of hope for the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, an organization dedicated to fighting the world's toughest cancer. She decided to do something in honor of Swayze, rather than let herself be crippled by her grief. Lisa and Patrick proved that love truly can conquer all. Despite all the suffering that they experienced, they loved each other throughout the dark times, supporting each other through it all. Lisa said, cancer may have taken him, but it never beat him. The actor was a fighter through it all, and his wife stayed with him, supporting him and holding his hand, right until the very end. He was my hero, and he was a hero to his family, friends, and all of his loyal fans. This is truly a love story that will go down in history. Patrick and Lisa went through an unimaginable amount of loss after loss, but they never gave up on one another. And that's what true love is really all about. What do you think about the couple's story? Has it given you a bit of hope that true love is still out there? We want to know all of your thoughts. Leave your comments down below and remember, we do this for you, juicers. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below and do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.